Introducing Thinking It Through Wins and Wisdom Conversations on The Robin Graham Show. Hey friend, we're doing something new and I'm thrilled to share it with you. How would you like to be featured on a top 1% globally ranked podcast and ask a burning question about growing your business? This is your time to shine and to tell my community how you get wins for your clients and to pick my brain, so to speak. I'll answer your question and you and your business get a major shout out. It's a win-win. You've got nothing to lose. To take advantage of this unique, rewarding, and limited time opportunity, go to bit.ly B-I-T dot L-Y forward slash thinking it through to apply today. The link is in the show notes. Welcome to The Robin Graham Show, the go-to podcast for Christian entrepreneurs and business owners who want success without social media. Are you tired of hearing you must be on social media, posting at just the right time, and constantly selling in the DMs to grow a successful business? Are you sick of spending countless hours producing valuable content with little to nothing to show for it? Worse yet, are you fed up with imposter syndrome? that inevitably comes from time spent scrolling on social media, no wonder you procrastinate. But I've got great news. There is a better way to grow your business. Hey friend, I'm Robin Graham, a Christian business coach and marketing strategist specializing in growing a successful business without social media. I'm also the author of You, Me, and Anxiety. The Robin Graham Show is a podcast for faith-based business owners and entrepreneurs who want to follow their God-led calling and uncover joy, purpose, and passion in their life and business while having an impact and making money. Each week, I'll teach on how to grow your business without social media, in addition to various topics and strategies that you can employ to do so. Think how-tos like marketing, SEO, personal branding, PR, email marketing, and sales strategies tech tools, systems, processes, and automation, the -the behind-the-scenes stuff you need to simplify, and strategies to recognize and navigate mindset barriers and anxiety. I and my guests will give you the best advice to help you create the life and business of your dreams, with a healthy dose of Jesus, of course, so that you can build a solid foundation for your business and create a lifetime of limitless earning potential while fulfilling your purpose and creating a ripple effect of good in the world. If you're tired of overthinking and doing all the things with minimal results, you're in the right place. I'm all about simplicity, ease, and grace while having fun, creating an impact, and making money. Subscribe for new content every week. And be sure to visit therobingram.com forward slash resources to download free resources to help you grow your business for limitless earning potential. And if you want, email us at the team at therobingram.com. We open all of our emails and would love to hear from you. Tell us what your struggles are, your challenges, or just say hi. Hey friends, welcome back to another episode of The Robin Graham Show. The title of today's episode is The Strategies You Need to Write Content for SEO. If you want to be discovered by your soulmate clients, you must have a content strategy. Content is key and the most important part of your SEO strategy. When you write content for SEO, you increase your chances of being found on Google and attracting your soulmate clients, those people that you're called to work with, those people that as you're working with them, you will feel fulfilled also. Those people that God's called you to serve. The first thing to consider when you sit down to write content for SEO on your website is differentiation. When you differentiate yourself through stories, you will stand out as an expert and authority in your niche. You will also build an emotional connection with your audience and they will trust you faster. We know that trust determines buying practices, so building that trust is key. So what stories can you share? First, share the story of your journey that led you to where you are today. What experiences, challenges, highs, and lows have you experienced that have given you the expertise you now have? Share your challenges and how you overcame them to get to where you are today. Doing so will help your audience see that you can help them that you truly understand their pain points and will be able to help them overcome their challenges to reach their goals. 
You can also share stories on how you felt God calling you to try something new, to start your business, and to serve new people in a new way. Tell stories about your experiences of working with clients. Likewise, you can share testimonials from clients that your audience can see and understand how you are helping them or helping others, how you've helped others in the past. This will help your audience understand the quality of service and or the product that you offer and that you help your clients get results. It will also indicate how you get those results for your clients. All important factors for someone to decide to work with you. When we talk about sharing stories in our content, don't fear being vulnerable. The level of vulnerability is completely up to you, but you do want to demonstrate that you've had a myriad of experiences. You're not, or you haven't been living in a silo or working in a silo. When you think about how to write content for SEO, remember that make that marketing is communication. You build your personal brand and then you communicate what makes you unique. Your marketing strategy should include SEO so that people can find you and learn more about you and what you do and what makes you unique. As you think about the stories you want to tell in your content, always refer back to what differentiates you. For the sake of SEO, the things that differentiate you become part of your keyword and key phrase strategy on your website. Knowing without a doubt who your soulmate clients are will also help you fine tune your keyword and key phrase strategy list so that they will know that you're talking directly to them, really addressing their pain points, using keywords and key phrases that they're searching for answers for. As you're creating content for your website, get personal along the lines of vulnerability Show your personality. You don't have to divulge your entire life history or your most intimate secrets, but help your audience get to know you. Let them see your personality. Even the quirks. People are more likely to buy from a personality they like and trust than to simply purchase a product or service. They want to get to know you. They want to have an emotional connection with you. And that emotional connection ultimately will build trust. Be a resource when you write content. When you consider what to write when creating content, think about providing value for your audience. You don't have to give everything away, but share enough that your audience can easily see and understand that you have knowledge, tools, processes, or products that they need to reach their goals. I'm sure you've heard it said that you can't give too much away. This may be controversial, but the reality is that when you become a go-to resource, you demonstrate your authority in your area of expertise and people will keep coming back for more. Most people won't have the time, energy, or resources to implement or do everything that you teach. Therefore, the more you present yourself as a resource, the more likely your audience will see you as someone they need to hire because they need your assistance, they need your help, they need you helping them get to their goals. Be sure and use those keywords and key phrases as you share resources, especially long tail key phrases to get found on Google when people search for your expertise. Google doesn't want to have to second guess what your website is about. This is where clarity comes in. Your content strategy must be clear and follow a hierarchy. For example, if you're writing a post about hiring a Christian business coach, you should have the phrase Christian business coach throughout your article. Use the phrase in the title, in headers, and throughout the article. You don't want to overstuff your article. We don't want to do keyword stuffing, they call that. But you want to have it throughout your article in a reasonable a reasonable number of times so that Google recognizes that that is what you're writing about. To be even more, excuse me, I stuttered there for a second. To be even more specific, use a long tail key phrase like how to hire 
a Christian business coach or the benefit of hiring a Christian business coach. Then you're getting even more specific. So there's no question. There's total clarity on what this article that you're writing is about. But be sure that your end message is clear to the reader as well. There should be no opening for confusion on the topic you are writing about and what your expertise is. Even if you are writing on a topic that isn't directly related to your business, doing a podcast interview is a perfect example. Be strategic and link that topic back to something that you say and do to help your clients. Strategy is key to ensuring clarity so that your soulmate clients know you are speaking directly to them and that you are here to help them in addition to how you are here to help them. The concept of clarity goes along with your content being consistent and cohesive. You can refer to a previous blog blog post slash podcast episode on my five C's of personal branding, and that'll give you more details on being consistent and cohesive. You want to make sure that from your homepage to your about page, to your services page, to all of the content you create for your blog for SEO, that you're consistent and cohesive. Your message is clear and concise. Structure your content so that Google can make sense of it. This is really key for SEO. This means breaking your content down into bite-sized chunks. Write for ease of understanding and have an order in your content so that people don't feel like they are jumping all over the place to figure out what you're trying to say. Use headings, subheadings, and short sentences and short paragraphs to make your content easy to skim or read. Remember, most people skim content first on a mobile device. So the easier you make it for people to read your content, the more Google will see you are creating content that people will find interesting and be able to consume easily. The content you create is obviously important, but the content strategy doesn't stop there. For Google to see that your your website as one that they should rank, that they want to see that people come to your site and stay on your site, The longer they stay on your site, the more value Google will think you provide. To keep people on your site, write content that you can link to additional content on your site. Include internal links to blog posts and content that will provide added value. So like I suggested before, with the consistent being consistent and cohesive, I'm directing you on this blog post for this podcast episode to additional blog posts and podcast episodes that are all posted on my website. So you can go to the show notes today and read the full show notes or simply click on the links to go to additional episodes. You'll be able to find so much more that will help you grow your business than just listening to this one silo episode. Think of sending your audience down a rabbit hole of learning opportunities. This really is being that resource that I suggested before. When you write content that provides value and is seen as resourceful, your audience will continue to consume the content. The more they consume your content, the more they will see you as the expert and therefore the more they will trust you. Since trust determines buying practices, like I said at the very beginning, writing content that builds trust is critical. In addition to that, Google will trust you when they see your audience trust you and will be more likely to rank you higher on search page results, search engine results pages. So in a nutshell, your content should be original, share your perspective, your opinion, a new idea or concept, your original approach to solving a problem. For example, my purpose to results method, success without social. It's unique. And that's the majority of what I share in my content is related to success without social media and my purpose to results method and the strategies that we use to grow businesses without social media. 
No one wants to read copycat content. And when Google sees that you are providing new perspectives, they're more likely to share your content when people search for what you're talking about and sharing. You want your content to be readable and skimmable. This is where headings, subheadings, short sentences, and small paragraphs come into play. You also want your content to be findable. Use a keyword and key phrase strategy that will help Google understand specifically what you want to be found for and who they should send your way. If you are curious to learn more about SEO, download the Intro to SEO for Entrepreneurs video. You can find that at therobingraham.com forward slash resources. It's a quick watch, and I think you'll find a ton of value if you haven't already started your SEO strategy for your website, or even if you have and you just need to brush up. All right, friends, that's the end of the content for today. I do hope you'll go over and check out the show notes and read through all of the other content to help you really differentiate yourself, discover more strategies on how to write blog posts for SEO, and tap into the resources on the five C's of personal branding, which goes hand in hand with marketing, right? Because you're differentiating yourself and learn more ways to get found on Google by creating great content. I look forward to seeing you back here again next week. And if you feel so inclined, you know what I'm going to say, please leave us a rating and review because that is how we continue to grow and be able to get great guests and share this content with other people. So thanks so much again for being here and I will see you all next week. Growing a successful business can feel intimidating and overwhelming, but it doesn't have to. Hi, I'm Robin Graham. And as a marketing and lead generation strategist, I am here to help you grow your business with simplicity, ease, and grace. Whether you are just starting out or you've been working to grow your business but haven't made traction, I will help you get the results you want. Using my purpose to results method will uncover your blocks and I'll teach you a step-by-step -step approach to grow your business in a way that makes sense and allows you to feel confident in following your God-led calling. The core of the purpose to results method is this formula, mindset plus strategy plus action equals results. For mindset, we use my situational mind modeling for clarity, confidence, and connection with purpose and impact. For strategy, we use my simplified sustainable strategy model to achieve a solid foundation for long-term success by using strategies that embody SEO systems and processes and simplify your business. And for action, we use the accountability framework to ensure consistent execution to achieve results. You don't have to be a six-figure entrepreneur to implement strategies, systems, and SEO, and you don't have to fear those things either. I'll help you map out strategies that work, help you create the processes you need, and teach you how to use SEO to get found and ranked on Google. When we work together, you won't need to overthink. There will be no backpedaling, and you'll get to have an impact and make money faster and have a lifetime of earning potential. You and your business become my priority. How does that sound? Are you ready to feel calm and confident as you grow your business? If you're a result and impact-driven entrepreneur who's tired of doing the same things repeatedly with minimal results, I invite you to schedule a discovery call with me. Go to https colon forward slash forward slash bit.ly B-I-T dot L-Y forward slash discover with Robin to schedule. The link is also in the show notes. The time is now. The people who need you are ready to find you. And that's a wrap, friends. A heartfelt thank you for being here. I know there are many other ways that you could spend your time, so I truly appreciate you joining me. If you enjoyed this episode and found the information helpful, please take a moment to subscribe and leave a rating and review. Ratings and reviews are how we grow and get amazing guests and how more people find the show. A kind review would mean the world to me. Oh, and don't forget to share the episode with someone that it will help. And let's connect. 
You can find me on Pinterest and LinkedIn as therobingram.com. And be sure and visit the website, therobingram.com forward slash resources for a plethora of resources to help you grow your business for long-term success. Until next time, remember to smile.